only I can live forever. So how are you doing today, sir? I'm good, yeah. Uh, day... How many days of Junket have we done now? First day in New York. So, um, good, actually. And we're going to do the premiere tomorrow, which will be great. It also has to be somewhat uh, cool when people are so enthusiastic about your movies and they make so much money and they're just so popular. I think it's a little easier, maybe, to talk about than if someone, you know, you can tell that someone didn't like it. I can't imagine what it would be like to talk to someone about a movie that people didn't like. That would be really horrible. <laughs> I've never, ever had that experience, fortunately, touch wood. And um, it is great. At the premiere in London the other day, 25,000 fans turned up. Yeah. Screaming and shouting from Brazil, Chile, Japan, Spain, Sweden, you name it. And it was the most beautiful sight. They've been standing there for four days. I feel really, you know, proud of what we've done and, and grateful to those people for being there, basically. Honest to God, man, I don't know how you did this. And, and I, I'm saying this to you as a fan and someone who's a film nerd and understands the amount of time it takes to make a movie and what people don't really understand what goes in. I don't understand how you're still standing, truly, after making four awesome movies that are so huge. I, I, I meditated. I did a bit of yoga and I used copious amounts of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> and they got me through. But also I had a fantastic team of people, as you know, because you've met some of them. Stuart Craig, Stephen Wolfenden, Jamie Christopher, my team, Jani, you know, John Richardson, special effects, Tim Burke, visual effects, my producers. It was a family making these films. And I was there at the front of it, you know, making all the decisions of where we went, but they were there with me. and. We made it. We made them together. I would imagine at some point, now that the the franchise is wrapping, they're going to put out an ultimate Blu-ray box set of all the movies, all the extras, all the everything. With specifically with the King's Cross stuff that you reshot, the original footage. Is that something that you would be willing at some point to let the fans see, or is it something you're like, it really doesn't work? I really don't want it out there. Do you know what I need to do? I need to look at it again to make sure. I mean, I would be very, be very happy to share it because it's crazy holding on to things. It's much better for people to see. Um, if, if the interest is there and the appetite is there, I'd be probably very happy to put it on a DVD in a couple of years' time. Um, but honestly, I'd need to just see it again because I haven't seen it for ages. Hypothetically speaking, did you borrow any props from the set and what do you have at home? Of course, hypothetical, because I know you wouldn't actually take anything. Okay. Um, there was a gift of a, a big portrait which the David, David Hayman, David Barron had made for me as a, a wizard on a wall. I've got a Beadle the Bard book and I actually have a wand, a really beautiful wand that the art department made um, as a kind of a memento and they're my props. Oh, actually, no, one more, sorry. Uh, I have to confess I do have a Hermani's bag because um, <laughs> I really like that prop and um, that's sitting on my desk at the moment. The one thing that I've read on the people who've seen the movie yes. is that uh, a lot. I don't think there's any way for you to perfectly get every single fan happy with the very end of the movie because there's just no way. There's so much emotion that everyone has that they're bringing to the table who've sure. read the books sure. that all you can do is the best you can do. Absolutely. And just hope for, you know, and just hope that it appeases most people. Saying that, did you ever want to do a quote unquote Return of the King ending? where it sort of goes on and on and on? No, I, I totally get that. I, I love Return of the King as a movie. I love that whole trilogy. It's a magnificent achievement, and I'm a huge fan of Peter Jackson's work. It's inspired, it's inspiring. Um, I was not a fan of how Return of the King ended. I felt the sort of endless endings were frustrating. But, and that's a very personal view, and I know millions of people don't share it. Um, and I wanted to avoid endiitis, as I call it. You know, <laughs> where you go, it's the end. Oh, it's not quite the end. We'll just do another one. Oh, and it's not quite the end. And so, by the end, you're exhausted. So I wanted to end in a in a in a way that felt satisfying and moving, and simple. I would imagine that Warner Brothers has a tendency of keeping filmmakers in house. They have the Nolans. They have uh, Todd Phillips. They they attach themselves to filmmakers. Zack Snyder. Uh, are they sort of trying to talk to you about becoming one of the 
directors that lives at Warner Brothers? Do you know, I love working with Warners, and I, I want to stay there as much as I can. And because um, they're great, you know, they're very respectful, they're very generous, they're very, they're really good partners when it comes to making a movie is really tough, and you need to make movies with grown-up people, and the Warner people are grown up. They understand how difficult it is. They have a, a great sense of maturity about putting things together, and I'm very, very happy there, actually. My last thing, you obviously, the pairing of you with David, uh, the Davids, yes. as well as Steve Cloves, proves yeah. to be a lethal combination. Yes. Are you guys talking about maybe doing something else together as well? Yes, we're, we are, we are, because we love each other. They're great. It's a great gang, basically, and so we'll... But I think we've worked so hard in the last few years, we need a break. We just need us. We need a. We need to step back and just breathe and take our time, and then we'll be back together. I'm sure. Totally. Thank you so much. Yeah, cool. And seriously, love the movie. Oh, cool. Great. <laughs>